How did they play? Have you ever wondered how composers in the past managed to do the pieces that they have written? In my case, as an organist, it is certainly the music of J.S. Bach that has puzzled me the most. Some of his compositions for the organ are so complex that it really did make me wonder, how did he play them? Well, as it turns out, the things we know about Bach's playing point to a kind of touch that is not the usual organ touch. Usually organists play legato, but J.S. Bach had a way of playing where he released the keys by pulling back with the finger instead of bringing the hand up. His hand was apparently a little flatter than modern pianists and certainly loose so that he could finish the, cut, the note by pulling back with each finger at the end of the note. This makes the control of the length of each note possible by the player because that is a natural thing for the key for the finger to do and that is to pull back. So the Bach touch as we've come to call it is a touch that introduces many different lengths of notes controlled by how quickly or how slowly you pull back on the finger to release them. That I think is probably the most important thing that I have learned from writing about all of this material. How did Bach play? Well, we know for one thing that he played by releasing each key by pulling back. This makes it possible to clarify his complex music. For instance, this chorale prelude, which is in four voices. Mm -hmm. 